you know when you, there's people, uh, if a doctor diagnoses you leukemia, you know that this is a very serious disease. And if you succeed, it's a miracle almost. The, if there is one chance, one possibility within one million, this one has to be mine. And I was attached to that possibility like I don't know what. You would think that a working class kid from Barcelona would want to grow up to be a Manolete or any one of the other matadors he came to watch in the bullring. But not Jose Carreras. All he wanted to do was sing. What was it uh, that got you interested in opera in the first place? <laughs> it's a story that sounds like Hollywood, <laughs> but it's true. No, I've been in... in I was very young, six years old. And six years old? Six years old, yes. And with my parents, we went to see a film called The Great Caruso with uh, Mario Lanza. And that was so impressive for me the charisma of this man, the personality of this man, the singing, that next day I start to sing at home, my way, of course, the, the same arias or the same songs I heard in the movie. I can understand a six-year-old identifying with a cowboy or an Indian, or, but an opera singer. Well, because probably I thought that it's easier to become an opera singer than to become John Wayne. At 11, Carrera sang his first opera, and he was on his way. By 27, he'd made it to the Met. By his 30s, he was playing the best opera houses worldwide and constantly being compared to Pavarotti and Domingo. I mean, I don't say this in an, in an arrogant way at all, but I'm in the top of, of my profession together with uh, another few, few singers. And uh, I think my kind of singing, my, my kind of uh, trying to express myself, my, the quality of my voice, my eventual talent, I have a lot of limitations, like everybody else, uh, but I think I, 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 or I hope at least I bring to people some feelings when, when, when I'm singing. And I, 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 I can, I'm, I'm able to transmit feelings to people when I'm singing. And I think this is, is uh, part of, of my success. Do you think that you have a beautiful voice? Yes, I think so. I, I really think so. And he's not the only one who thinks so. Before his illness, opera houses and concert halls booked him years in advance and kept him on the road 11 months a year. Sometimes, as you say, the mirror, that's hard, hard to accept. It's very hard for somebody uh, 40 years old and uh, in the middle of uh, a wonderful life and, uh, and a wonderful career to see this deterioration, uh, your physical deterioration, uh, day by day. He wondered how the treatments were affecting his voice, but he was told not to use it. However, during painful radiation sessions, he couldn't help himself. You want the minutes to, to pass as quick as possible. And for that, I used to sing. To sing for myself, of course. And, uh, very low voice. And I, and I used to sing in the arias, uh, the most famous arias, and Aida or Poem, or even some... Uh, songs or whatever that I know the timing. I knew that in f even five songs the radiation uh, the session session is going to be over. Yes. Can you ch show me the level of voice you would use when you would Sure, I sang something like uh, L'aurora di bianco vestita Gialuscio di schiude al gran sol Something like this. Against the odds, Carreras made it. After months of hospitalization, he finally went home and tested his voice. That was 
sorry to say, <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> because this, the, the, sound, the sound of the bathroom is the better, this, this sounds better than Carnegie Hall, than, <laughs> than, than, than any uh, hall or any opera house in the world. <laughs> this resonance, it makes, it makes you feel like Caruso. Carreras has spent the last two years on the comeback trail. His mentor, the world-famous soprano Montserrat Caballé, says the voice is the same, but the man is not. Uh, in my opinion, something has changed. Um, maybe... Uh, maybe he's uh, not only uh, thankful for what he has received, but uh, he's also very concerned about other people. Concerned about other people, especially those he left behind at the clinic. <laughs> When he comes back here, it's to encourage them to fight. Month of recovery, and for Christmas, he's going to celebrate the Christmas this year better than ever. Carreras has created a foundation to raise funds for leukemia research. It's already raised $8 million, a quarter of that through benefit concerts like this one at Carnegie Hall. again to sing too much I don't want to to be inside of this kind of machinery the, uh, the, the, to go from from one place to another from an opera house to another from one recording studio to another no 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 I want to concentrate uh, not only my career um, but also in my private life and to, to spend much more time with the people I love with my children with uh, with uh, my friends and uh, to, to enjoy more life do you think you would have come to that realization had you not developed leukemia? Probably, probably not. Yeah. Probably not. Doctors are still cautious about his future. He's not. Mm, just to the end bit. Please. All he worries about is hitting the high notes. So what happens when you know you have to sing high C? I don't sleep the night before. Have you ever missed it? Have you ever not? Yes, yes, yes. A couple of times. And how did, how did the audience react? Once they didn't notice because I was singing with somebody else, a soprano who had such a loud, huge voice and nobody realized <laughs> that I was missing the high C. And the other time, <laughs> it was in, the, in Spain, at the beginning of my, of my career, and, and, and I was singing La Boheme, a very... Well, this area that everybody knows and everybody knows where is the high C. And I missed it. I did a kind of uh, Tyrolean sound. <laughs> well, what can I do? This I, I felt, I felt, well, you can imagine how you feel, but uh, there's nothing you can do. What, did they boo you? No, no, no. They, 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 they said, oh. Aiuto. Aiuto. Carreras may be baby brother to Pavarotti and Domingo, but he's taught them a thing or two about life. What if you lost your voice? Any one of you? In a situation like this, 
Who care of the voice? The voice. Bravo. Who care? Bravo. What is voice? Yeah. There is an important thing in life. Life. Right, yes. The other are complementary things. Carreras no longer cares whether he's considered the best tenor or second best or even third. Now, he told me, I sing because it's a privilege to sing.